And I think they're going to be the next generation of leadership in our church when they're ripe. And I, I committed to pray for them. And you know what I saw? Never, never mentioned it to them. Started praying for them. And you know what I've seen? I've watched them mature in the Lord. And I've watched them step up and ta- start to take leadership, start to take service. And I'm not saying I did that, but I did and the Lord did. He did it through prayer. He'll do that with you. Locate your Timothy and start praying for that person, for that man or that woman. Pray for that Timothy. And then third, start investing in your Timothy. The one that the Lord shows you and you're praying for them, start pouring into them. Take them out to eat. Do life with them. If you see that they've got great potential in the future to do a ministry that you're doing in the church, teach them how to do it. Teach them how to, to teach a class. Teach them what you're doing on your ministry team. Show them. Show them what to do. So that when the time comes, when you're gone, either gone to glory, gone somewhere else, not teaching that class, what have you, there's somebody right there that God has raised up. Tonight, I want to challenge you to do that. We're going to have a response to that. I want you to just come to the altar and ask the Lord, show me a Timothy. Show me something the next generation that God is dealing with, that you, that, that you see potential. And show me that person, Lord, and make a commitment to pray for them, and to invest in them. Brother Terry, will you come now? Let's, let's stand. I surrender all, hymn number 433. All to Jesus I surrender all to 